So, the radical elected leadership in California is suddenly meeting its match. This is exactly what needs to transpire in the Golden State. The people, through their local elected officials, saying no to anti-constitutional behavior. No more to thumbing their noses at federal law and federal agents who are simply trying to do their job, which is protect this nation from a foreign invasion. Ah, but here's the question. How does this end exactly? What will come of the internal struggle between constitutional California and lawlessness at the top of the Golden State? Joining me now from Southern California, Republican candidate for California's 36th Congressional District, Kimberlyn Brown-Pelzer. Uh, Kimberlyn, how does this end exactly? Is it pitchforks? Is it going to be uh, California split in two states, as, as many people want to see happen? How do you see this thing, Andy? You know, Graham, pe people are finally standing up and they're finally using their voices for far too long. People in the state of California, they haven't had one. And if you even look at the studies that Berkeley put out, over the high 70 percentile of Californians do not want sanctuary cities. They do not want sanctuary states. 73% of Latinos don't want sanctuary cities and states. And in the high 60 percentile, Democrats don't want sanctuary cities and states. So the way this ends is by getting up off the ground. We're, we're, we're tired of being kicked and we're gonna fight back. And I'm so proud to see these city leaders stand up against the state of California to yeah. make a difference for our safety. And, and it's good, I think, for the rest of the nation to see that there are some rational people. There are some constitutional people in the great state of California. Something on your website, you're a candidate for Congress, something on your website caught my eye regarding uh, immigration. And it says, in part, I will support immigration reform for those folks who are diligently working to improve their lives, but anyone who has committed additional crimes while in the USA must be deported. Does that mean that you are in favor of some level of amnesty for illegal immigrants if they haven't committed crimes? You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm for some level of, of, I hate the word amnesty, because when, when Reagan used that, he said it was the biggest mistake he ever right. made when they promised him border security. I'm, I'm for a pathway to citizenship. There's no doubt about that for people who, who have been here working and, and diligently paying their, their taxes and, and, and been a part of our society. I am not for illegal aliens. And I call it illegal aliens because that's the way it's written in our Constitution. How it went from illegal alien to illegal immigrant to now undocumented immigrant is beyond me. We need to oh. we need to call it exactly what it is. I can tell you, but that's another story. They went into the yeah. newsrooms in, in the 1980s when I was just a young uh, want to be anchor, and they said you're, this would be the you know the community organizer types, the Barack Obama types, only right. on, from the uh, the immigrant perspective. And they said you're going to change the nomenclature, and that's exactly what the mainstream media did. That's enough on that. Um, I want to put a name to a face in case people are struggling to figure out exactly who you are. I want to embarrass you also. Take you back <laughs> 22 years to a oh, promo wow. for the Bold and Beautiful. Roll tape. This January, someone's going to get this ring. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This is where the diamond goes. She's the mistress of manipulation. I've worked too hard to see him end up with that hip. But will Sheila snatch this ring? He'll be chained to me forever. Hold on, girl. The competition is fierce on the bold and the beautiful. All right, so are you going to be the mistress of manipulation if elected to Congress and dr help drain the swamp? How do you see, seriously, how do you see yourself? There have been some successful uh, actors uh, and actresses converting to politics. We know one by the name of Ronald Reagan. Right. Um, there was an Arnold Schwarzenegger um, and uh, Sonny Bono, for example. Do you see yourself cut out of either any of those molds? You know, my grandfather used to go on trail rides with Ronald Reagan, actually, and and you know, most people know me as an actress, but they don't realize that I put my money to work for me. My husband and I have started several successful businesses. We employ over 100 people in California alone. And, and I, I'm gonna go there with our voice. You know, I'm not afraid to get fired. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going there to make a difference and call people out, bring them to the forefront, because we need people that are honest in Washington again, that have character and integrity and we haven't had that on both sides of the aisle for far too long. The 36th district, the district you're running in, is Sonny Bono uh, country, at least it's his legacy, right? This is Palm yes. Springs, Palm Desert, sometimes uh, would be considered a relatively affluent area, a large Hispanic presence there. Uh, right. Whether they are eligible to vote or not, this large presence, uh, uh, I don't know the exact demographics. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Raul Ruiz is the current uh, congressman, he's a Democrat. 
Um, he's uh, pretty much uh, votes from what I have seen, uh, whatever Nancy Pelosi uh, wants him to do, including the Pain Capable Act. He voted against that. Exactly. Um, how, how, how do you quantify uh, your opponent in, in this race? Well, you hit it right on the head. He's nothing but a Pelosi yes man, and he hasn't accomplished anything in three terms of, of, his, of his office. And how can a doctor, of all people, vote for that bill? Yeah. Uh, who, who could ever stand for late-term abortion when there's documentation now that, that the infant feels pain at five months? We're, we're the only civilized nation in the world that, that doesn't have a cutoff. For, for abortion, and I think it's something that we seriously need to look at. All right, so you look at the present Congress right now. There's uh, about four months to go before they kind of fold the tent and say, ah, there's an election right around the corner, uh, so we're not going to do anything. So basically, it's going to be April, May, June, July. What do you think that this Congress ought to be doing? I know, I have my list, and I've vocalized it on this program multiple times. Um, I think they should be repealing laws. What do you think that this Congress should be working on right now while we still have a Republican majority in both houses and a Republican in the White House? They need to continue to work on medical big time. You know, the, what I see my employees go through on a daily basis is shameful. Uh, they're basically paying for their insurance and paying for their health care, too. That was something that they had seven years to work on and how on earth that was never done is, is beyond me. And when I went to D.C. and I was told, oh, but we did, we rolled something out. We rolled something out three months later. And I said, well, why did it take three months? Well, because there are so many people that wanted their name on that bill. And I said, well, if it was such a great bill, why didn't you put their name on it? Well, there are so many egos here in Washington. Kimberly, you'll see that when you get here. And I thought, whoa, so, so this was because of, of ego, Graham? Mm -hmm. You know, if they were to, to be on the same medical plan that they put everybody else in America on, they'd be running across the aisles to work with one another. Right, right. We, but they don't reverse the bet, do they? No, they don't. They need to live by the same laws, rules, and regulations that they, that they impose on all of us. Well, um, let's hope if you're elected, you are the mistress of manipulation for the Washington, D.C. swamp and supporting <laughs> Donald Trump's uh, agenda, which I think you support a lot of it. And so good luck to you. Maybe we'll have you back on the program before the, the primary in June. I'd love to. And if anybody wants to find out more information, please go to KimberlinForCongress.com. I, I need all the support I can get. Thank all you. All right, mistress. Thank you. All right.